What's going on, everybody? We're at MegaCon. We're at MegaCon. It's only been a little over two years that we've been waiting to come back, yes. but we are finally here. For those that don't know, MegaCon is the mega convention. It is a huge comic book and nerdy uh, convention. It's basically the San Diego Comic Con of Orlando. And uh, we're here, we're with the podcast that I am a part of, the Nerd of Godcast. I'll put their information in the description down below. Um, check it out, it's great. Um, but we have a booth here in Artist Alley. We've dropped off the stuff, and now Brittany and I are just waiting because we are blocked in at the loading dock. And we just want to go park the car so we can go start the con. This is what happens when he doesn't listen. I told him where to park so we would be right at the edge, and he didn't listen. He had to go all the way in. And now who knows how long we'll be sitting here. Well, they are supposed to only have a half hour time limit. Supposed to. So. We'll see. Well, I hope so. We can't really do anything because we don't want to lose the spot. Like, we don't want someone to come and park in front of us again. So we just have to wait here until we've been waiting here for about 15 minutes already. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. And when the con starts in an hour and a half, so we need to hurry up. Yeah, we might run out of convention parking before. Oh. That's one reason I wanted to get out of here. Oh, it's dang, okay, nabbit. We're gonna have a great. We're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be a great weekend. So I'm not sure yet how long if this is gonna be one long vlog or if it's gonna be multiple vlogs. Uh, so if you see a part one, hold on. I think I think this guy. Is this your car? <gasps> I think we can go. Yes, yes. I'm gonna ask him to move if he doesn't move. Are you getting in? Oh, yeah, we can move. Yay! Goodbye. <laughs> All right, we are parked. We're here. There, here's Brittany behind me. I'm so excited. My only complaint is that we have to wear masks inside. Yes, so. I'm just, I'm vaccinated, so I don't feel the need to do it, but that's what we have to do, and it'll still be fun. Yes, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and we're, because we are part of a vendor situation, we get to go in early every day, and we'll stay late every day. So like right now, We get a is, special entrance. We do. So we don't have to wait in as long lines. Yes. Right now it's 12.30. The con technically starts at four. It starts at two for VIPs, and we're going in now finish setting up our table and we'll show you the table when we get there it's really fun the podcast that i'm a part of part of it's called the nerd of god cast where christ culture and nerd culture comes together for sweet sweet two-player co-op we're uh nerds and we love jesus and we like to tell people about jesus from a nerdy perspective so that's why our podcast is here is to be able to tell people about jesus from nerds like them and if you stay tuned chicken nugget might show up yes Chicken Nugget might show up and some other special friends. Special friends? Well, the people of our podcast. So we gotta find out where we go for vendors. I think it's right here, actually. We're inside. We're gonna head over to our booth now and uh, kind of show you guys a quick look. It's the main con floor. Yeah, while it's empty, there's so much space right now you can spread out, but by Saturday, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna, yeah, there's gonna be no space. During normal times, on Saturday, you can expect to have a hun about 100,000 people, I think. I don't know if it's 100,000 people total for Saturday or 100,000 people total for all four days. I don't think they're expecting that this year, obviously, because the second wave of COVID happening. So, but we're getting close to our booth now. Ah! Oh, he's talking not at me. Okay. I'm not going to cheat on my tattoo artist, but I have to. To be honest, and I'm a little tempted. I know. Mostly just because I'm getting antsy. Yes. Brittany's getting a tattoo in about a month. A little bit less, less than a less month, actually. Less than a month now. I've been waiting since January. Yeah. Actually, we're both getting tattoos. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be a fun vlog, too. Brittany's is a full day. So, <laughs> it's an eight-hour tattoo that she's getting. So excited. And then mine's just a regular old half day. So, that'll be a fun vlog that we do. But here, we're in Artist Alley, where our booth is. There's like Exhibitor Alley, which is where all the exhibitors, people selling stuff. And then there's Tattoo Alley that has surprise, surprise tattoo artists. Right, and here is our booth for the Nerd of God class. Oh. Oh my goodness. We need to get all of these. Look at the Baby Yoda one. This is really cool. Oh look. But I mean like this is so perfect because it's friends Mm. Like, yeah, I love that. See that one? Sylvie? Yeah. Really cool. Oh, look, they have an Ahsoka painting. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. We're going to come back. Yeah, we'll be back. I don't know the name of this artist, but we're near. Hi. 
<laughs> we're just admiring the art. Oh, <laughs> we have a few minutes now that we're just gonna walk around, kind of see what's around us. Because they're still setting up the booth and I don't want to make anybody mad by messing things up. I have a couple friends here who have some artist booths here. We're gonna check them out as well. So over here, they have a bunch of like backdrops where you can take pictures in front of. So you can take a picture in front of like Megacon Orlando, which I think we're gonna do right now. And I think that's Lord of the Rings inspired right there. Here we go, it's like we're celebrities. And then over there, there's like the Star Wars thing where you can do like Star Wars cosplay pictures and whatnot. It's really cool. They have cars, like movie cars over here. It's like a ferry one. Get my picture in front of the Yes, ferry. I'll take your picture in front of the ferry. All right. Three, two, one. I don't need five of those. Stop taking pictures yourself. I just took one. And then here is where all the celebrity autographs are going to be. So we have a little bit of a surprise for later on in the vlog or on the next vlog. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to give you a hint. We're not going to tell you what it is, but we will give you a hint. We'll just give you a hint. We're not saying anything. We're not saying any names. Oh, have mercy. Here's our hint. We're going to meet Bob Saget. <laughs> Let's just say, let's just say what it is. <laughs> you have to wait and see. You have to wait and see. I'm not going to fangirl at all, though. You're not going to fangirl at all. So one thing, this is where, this is where the autograph section is. So you wait in these lines and you can meet somebody like, let's say, Dave Coulier. And then you can meet them and get the autograph. You cannot take a picture. They will get mad at you because these celebrities also have photo ops that you pay for. Yeah. And they don't want you taking a picture of them from far away. But, so they have a lot of people here, um, including I, whoever John Stamos is. They have people from The Office, like this guy, David Cockner, whatever his name is, Leslie Baker, plus a bunch like of other people. Be behind the shield. They Probably. are allowing you to take the mask off. If you pay for a photo, you're allowed to take the mask off for the photo. Yeah. That doesn't help women with their makeup, but you are allowed to take it off for the photo if the guest is okay with it. Yeah. So that's why they've put these like plexiglass shields there. That way they're shielded and you can still like take a decent picture. Yep. I'm but, sure the photographer's good enough not to get the glare on it. Yeah. Well, no, I think you can, I don't know, I don't think you would take a picture there. So what happens is when you get a celebrity photo op, it's actually in a different area where there's like lights and it's probably over there where those lights are. And they'll take a picture. I think you can say hello, talk for a couple of seconds. And then oh, you would is this leave. just autographs? These are just autographs. Oh. Yeah, so you don't take your picture there. You take your picture in a specific area. So anybody can come and wait in line to get an autograph. You have to already have a picture. Um, set up in order to take a picture with somebody. Cool little Ghostbuster section right here too. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Well, they, oh, they do have, they don't have an actual Ecto-1 like with the hearse. Yeah, he's gonna be very excited. Getting ready for Ghostbusters Forever, or Afterlife, that's what it's called. So this is interesting. It's like a, uh, what is it? Oh, it's a photo op. No, you ride it. But it's a photo, I don't think it actually moves though. Because I feel like that'd be dangerous, but it's a picture, I think. Oh, and all the proceeds go to make a wish. Oh, partial proceeds go to make a wish. Oh, so like 5%. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And over here, they also have um, different movie cars. They have two of the Jurassic Park cars and the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And I believe that the pictures from the DeLorean, from the Back to the Future, from the DeLorean, go to the Michael J. Vox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. And we're going back towards the Star Wars area over here because they have a bunch of droids. We're going to see if they have Chopper. They have a bunch of R2-D2. I don't think they have Chopper. They don't have Chopper. But they have Steve Huck R2-D2. By the way, everything we've shown you guys so far has just been from like Artist Alley and a celebrity photo area. There's still all of the vendor booths that we're going to be looking at throughout the weekend. So. It's gonna be busy, it's gonna be a lot. We're so excited. And we have the next like four days off of work to be here, so it's really fun. I'm really excited. 
All right, it's our turn to explore now. Yay! It is me, my wife, and then our friend, Balbun, Alexandria. <laughs> and a Totoro. She just spent $40 on a Totoro. It's a hand crocheted little guy. So, <laughs> we're now gonna go explore. We spent about two hours at the booth, and we're gonna go look at bows now. I think so, after we get through this crowd. Look at them. Oh, giant Pikachus, <laughs> awkwardly hugging. You. So we may go back and talk to our friends that we just made, Abby, who started, where did I put the business card? She and makes bows called Bows for Buns. And she has a bunch of like Disney and Marvel and Star Wars inspired adorable. bows are adorable. Go to her Etsy shop, screenshot that, and check it out. Uh, so this right here is my good friend Larry, Larry himself. Hi. This is his artwork. It is amazing. Larry, where can people find your stuff? Uh, easy. On all the social medias, okay? And it's easy. At Larry himself. That's it. So like That's it says it. on At his Larry belly. Himself. At Larry <laughs> himself. <laughs> has my face. This has my face. This has, look. My face is everywhere, okay? <laughs> Just find my face and you find my stuff. <laughs> easy. So, he has really, I really love that Loki, the variants one. That's, that's, I think, one of the favorite things I've ever seen you do, is that Loki one. I was gonna cosplay this Loki. You should. I just didn't get a chance to because he has so much going on between yeah. the fur. I couldn't figure out how to do that. I did get the hammer 3D printed. Okay. Okay, I just didn't have time to paint it. But if you come back Saturday, you'll see me dressed up as Tanjiro. Okay. This guy. I'm gonna so. up as Tanjiro. Oh no. Yeah, she's only here through tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll see pictures. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we have left Artist Alley. We're now on the main exhibitor floor where people just sell things. Comics, memorabilia, toys, different items. And we're going to explore. We see some cool cosplays. You'll see them too. It'll be a lot of fun. So we're here. We're at the Autistic Tiger booth. Go ahead and just tell us a little bit about what, what you have here. Well, everything here is hand drawn by my son, Tiger. He's uh, eight years old and he's autistic and his name is Tiger, so hence the Autistic Tiger. Mm -hmm. He's been drawing for the last three years and about uh, six months ago we started having him draw cartoon characters and man, he just took off with it. And uh, everything you see here is what he's done since then. Wow. Uh, he only draws uh, with uh, a Sharpie on cardstock and he uses Copic markers for coloring. And I think he's the best eight-year-old artist in the whole world. So I didn't know if I could, should film. I don't know how it is, but I just met Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger from the Power Rangers. Did I, how did I compose myself? Was I okay? Did I geek out too much? You did okay. okay. You are, however, standing right in the middle of the Oh, I am. Sorry. So. Sorry, I'm still a little starstruck. <laughs> I've been a fan of the Power Rangers since I was three years old. It's been 27 years of fandom. Nearly 28. So, he was really cool, really down to earth. And uh, and Steven's so geeking out. I am. I am. He's really cool. And standing in the middle of the wall. Again, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm basking. Oh, and I think we lost Alexandria. Oh no, she's looking at swords. So yeah, it was really cool. Again, I wanted to film, but I figured the right thing to do was not to film that because they don't like it when you do that sometimes because they, they think they're taking money from them. All right, it's our time to head back to the booth, I think. I think we got about 10 more minutes. We got about 10 more minutes, so we might walk around some more. Don't rush our time, sir. I'm not trying to rush Don't the time. Don't rush us. We have four days worth of, uh... You may. We do. You're leaving tomorrow. I do have to leave tomorrow. My brother's getting married. Alexandria almost got a tattoo. Almost, but I decided that I would rather wait until I know what I want for sure. Yeah, because but also, I... I have this in place of it, so... That's true. So, I'm still very excited for our tattoos next month, Brittany. I am too. And we're gonna vlog that, like I said. I don't know where we're headed now. We're just walking aimlessly. All right, so we met a, met, a, met a friend here. Her name is Abby with Bows for Buns. Um, and it's really cool. She's gonna tell you a little bit about what she does. Hi. So I went to, I got a pass to Disney and I love Disney so much. So I decided to make things so that I could wear it to Disney every time I go. So I have multiple arrays. They're all handmade. I use a Cricut to cut out most of the shapes, but I also hand sew everything. So if it's on there, it's probably sewed on. So, but it's so much fun and I love doing it. But yeah, and you can, I have a shop on Etsy. It's actually Bows for Buns. 
Um, so if you want any, you can go there. I also hand like design some too. So if I don't have one that you want, I can make one for you. Hello and good morning. We are here at day two of Mega God. We're looking, Yay. we're looking for coffee. I think there's coffee right there. Actually, it looks like there might be. So we're about half an hour from show open. So we're going to see if we can get some coffee, which they looks like they have some right here. We're gonna have a fun day. Brittany's wearing her amazing Ahsoka dress. So cute. And we're gonna get some coffee. At least she is. I don't drink coffee. I'm not allowed to drink coffee because I go off the rails apparently. Yeah, it's bad. So we're gonna go to the coffee store. All right, well that coffee place was closed. So we're on the hunt for more coffee and we only have 31 minutes until the show opens. So we have to be quick. Because right now we're the only ones here for our table. So, on the hunt for caffeine. We found coffee right here at the Hill of Beans. Maybe I don't know, like, it's not Starbucks, but we'll go with it. True, it's not Starbucks, but it's still coffee. I don't know what that is, but that is amazing. I wonder if it's like the Chinese uh, Celebration Dragons where there's like seven people in there. That is amazing. And Bane is helping out. It's like a cat bus. Thank you. So right now we're gonna go look at, there's a, in the Star Wars area here, there is an Ahsoka themed chopper from Rebels. So we're gonna go see if we can see chopper. There's the Ahsoka chopper. Bernie's happy. Oh, that's a cool r 2 right there. Yeah, the purple and By the way, this is our friend. Oh look, it's Aladdin. Julia. Yes, hi. Or Jolly Rancher as we're calling her now. That is me. So. She's an up and coming actress, Julia. How can people follow you? Oh, you can follow me at julia.palazzo.actress on Instagram. This is Super Mario Bros. Ghostbusters. It's amazing. That is amazing. One thing that's really cool is you get a lot of people out here that kind of just do their own thing and they're just bringing their art out here. So there's some like authors that are selling their book series and they're independent authors. So it gives them a chance to kind of sell their stuff without having to go through like different publishing companies and what have you. So we're here with our friend, author is a D.E. Knight. Yes, D.E. Knight. E. Knight. So yes. tell us a little bit about your book series. It's a middle grade fantasy series about the adventures of Ivy Lovely. She's been hidden behind an enchanted boundary for 16 years and when she finally crosses the border, her powers suddenly awaken and she's swept away to a school of magic where there's an evil queen after Ivy's power. But something about Croswell that people love is the menagerie bottle where your imagine, imagination can come to life within the bottle and so there's a lot of fun adventures inside the bottles where students can practice magic on a larger scale so they don't make a mess in the classroom. Um, but that also inspired my picture book which is Opera's World. Um, where Opera finds a, a bottle and she gets to explore her own imagination and see the things she wants to be when she grows up. And the message with this book is about never giving up on your dreams. So, oh. a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're going to a place with a bunch of signed photos. And Brittany saw one that she likes. Look at that. Once upon a time, that's signed by um, Lana. Lana Perea. Oh, signed by Matt Smith and David Tennant. And this is what brought us in here. It's signed by Jody Benson, Christopher Barnes, and Pat Carroll. That's amazing. And it's one hundred and twenty-five dollars. That part is not amazing. The signature is yeah. cool. The thing about those booths, where they have like the signed pictures, is if you want to get something signed yourself, it's about the same price to just get it signed yourself. Sometimes they'll have multiple people on there, and it'll be less. Yeah, actually, for, like the Danielle Panabaker one was like more expensive than what you would have gotten it if you, I mean, she canceled, but if she had been here, I think it was more expensive than what it would have been if we just gotten her autograph and actually gotten to meet her. Yeah, so. so that's also what you're paying for too, 
is meeting the person, saying hello, maybe shaking their hand. So it is. It's, it's an experience that you're also paying yeah. for. So if they're here, do your research, meet the person. Yes. So yeah, and they also have photo ops that you can get. Some people may have photo ops for later in this series. You don't know, but there may be something happening. It's going to be really fun. I'd rather have a picture than an autograph. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just the person's like signature, which I guess is kind of cool, but I don't know. Um, I think a picture is way better. Yeah, and you get to like you get to meet them either way. Yeah. But with the photo op, you get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time for a second. With the with the autographs, it's just like sign, hello, goodbye. I mean, I was here a couple years ago, and John Cena was here, and uh, he was just literally just like sign, sign, sign. I think I have a video. If I can find the video of it, I'll put it in right now. We're still gonna. So we got about another another hour and a half. No, two and a half hours of exploring to do, and uh, we're gonna keep having a good time. And then we're basically in the booth for the rest of the day. So we're gonna get all the exploring in now that we can. And we're gonna. I've made the mistake of not showing you half of what we've looked at. Because <laughs> I've been so enthralled by everything else. We've looked at a lot of pops. So we're not really much into pop collecting, but we may. But they're cute to look at. They are fun to look at. And I'm determined to at least find an Ahsoka Tano pop. Even if we don't get it, I just want to find it. It's like my mission now. We have a Mandalorian. Oh my god. With Baby Yoda. I was gonna say, I like that guy's shirt. 